Tesla is in a pinch, and it produces lots of cars, Model 3 sedans particularly, at least 5,000 a week and hopefully made money while doing it. But how are they building cars so fast? To find out, we're going to look at the whole process of building Model 3 in a parking lot. Tesla did what it can the best. Whether under pressure or not, it got flexible. To expand the two Model 3 assembly lines running inside his at-capacity factory in Fremont, California, Musk set up a third line in a big white tent in the factory parking lot. Musk didn't say how many cars were built in the tent, how that work differs from the factory's equipment, or what makes this setup any better. Though an inspection of the building permits Tesla recorded with the city of Fremont yields a good picture of what is going on in there. First off, Giant is a fair descriptor. Almost 1,000 feet long, 150 feet wide, and 53 feet tall, the tent covers 137,250 square feet. That's sufficient to fit two and a half football fields, 122 Model 3 sedans, or an assembly line. The tent locates on the northeastern bit of the Fremont factory by the paint shop. It's the third such structure Tesla has ordered from San Francisco-based Sprung Structures, and it's called Sprung 3. Though the big tent is classified by California's building code as a repair garage, Tesla says it's undoubtedly an assembly line, where the major pieces of the vehicles get together. The first parts of the manufacturing, where the parts are stamped and the car's core come together, still happen inside the factory. Once the parts come from the paint shop, they come here for ultimate assembly. Instead of the floor-mounted, arm-like robots constructing most plants, the tent is filled with gantries. Think of these as a series of gates through which the car carrier conveyor belt runs. They're not robots, but lift assists, machines that make it easy for human workers to move big hunks of metal. They're mainly used for cross-car installations, putting together things that run the vehicles with since that's work more comfortably done from above than from the side. The miracle happens inside the tent. That series of gantries installs different bits. The IP gantry puts in the instrument panels. The glazing gantry does the windshields and rear glass. Take a guess what the door-on gantry and seat gantry do. Something called the marriage gantry joins the underbody of the car, where you'll find the battery, suspension, and motors to the top bit. The wheel jib crane presumably puts on the wheels. At the end of the line, the car rolls down a ramp back to ground level. And that's how the car is built. It's clever and ingenious how Tesla came up with a structure they can put up very, very quickly. And how they came to the near mythical 5,000 car per week mark. Now the sky is the limit.